the best way to store leftovers. I'm Urshi, my blog is twosleepers.com and today I'm gonna talk to you about this wonderful device called Super Cubes. So, a friend of mine sent these to me. She's actually selling these on Amazon and I heard about it from another friend who's a blogger. Um, so I got these for free, but I'm not getting paid to do the review. Okay, so you're asking me, why do you need this? Why can't you just use Ziploc bags? Why can't you use some other container? Um, you absolutely could. What I like about this is that for liquids, it will hold them uh, in a cube and that little cube, which is the perfect size, can actually go into reheating really, really easily. You could microwave it, you could put four little of these uh, or two cubes into your uh, instant pot, you could do pot and pot on that, you could put it in a rice steamer uh, and you could just heat up your food extremely well. What I really like about it compared to my other uh, mechanism, let me show you what else I use. So I have been using these little containers. And uh, this one says Boston baked beans, this one says black beans and rice, so this is from the vegetarian cookbook I'm working on, this is from the healthy cookbook I'm working on. Um, the advantage of these is that they're small and they'll fit in my fridge really, really easily. The disadvantage of these is that once you have something in here, that container is out of commission. You can't use it until you eat it, and let me tell you, we haven't eaten these in a really long time. In contrast, the advantage with these is that you put food in here and when it's frozen, you pop it out and you put it in either a quart bag or a Ziploc bag. So it will hold eight of these in a uh, gallon bag uh, and it'll hold, I think, two of these in a quart bag. Um, and of course, you know, you can put different things in here. So it, right now they come in two capacities. This is a one cup capacity. And then she sent me these as well. This is a two cup tray. So let's look at this. So this one, as you can see, let me flip it so you can see it. Um, is a two cup capacity. So typically at our house, we would use one of these for one person. And I'll show you how I, how I did that one. Uh, but even these, if you froze these, they would fit in a Ziploc bag really well. So what you would do is you would put your stuff in here, uh, you would let it freeze solid, and then you would take it out, put it in a Ziploc bag, and move ahead. So I did this, I froze something. Now I have not taken it out uh, of the silicone container because I wanted for us to do it together. And also because you guys know I'm klutzy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. All right, so I have here a gallon Ziploc bag, a quart bag, and then a regular sandwich bag, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, now clearly, in order to freeze something in here, it needs to have a little bit of liquid. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was easy, and I'm flared today, so I'm having trouble with my hands. So it needs to have a little bit of liquid. However, you can do rice, uh, and you can do pasta, uh, as long as you don't drain it super well. So what I did was here, what you see here, I did two rice and dal uh, things. So I put lentils at the bottom and rice on top. And then here I reversed it and I put rice at the bottom and I put my green beans with bacon on here. So all of these recipes are on the blog. And then let's see what it takes to pop it out because I don't really know what it takes. So, oh, that's easy enough. Okay, so what I did was I loosened it around the edges and then now, let me tell you something. If my husband were doing this, this would look a lot smoother. Ah, but it's me, and I'm flared, and I'm clumsy. So basically, you just push, oh, this is easier. Instead of trying to push it out, come on, Irvishi. Just um, push it out, there you go. Oh my God, it's so cute. Look at that. Here's my rice and dal. It's adorable, and it's very cold. So, I have two rice and dals. I wonder if it would fit in here, actually. Grace, you can't have any. My puppy's here. Hi, puppy. Hello, darling. Hello. Okay, so I could do this. I could freeze one of these by itself. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those little soaps that you get with different designs. I have a little cube of rice and dal. Okay, and then let me do this. So the reason I was playing with it this way is I felt like if something did not have a lot of liquid, like if it was rice and it didn't have a lot of liquid, would it be easier um, freezing it at the bottom? So now I have learned how to do this. Roger's watching me, he can't stand it. What would you do differently, honey? Oh, see this one popped right out. So I put rice at the bottom here. Ah, this is less pretty. Ooh, it's cold. But it's totally doable, okay? So here's my rice at the bottom, and here's my green beans on top. Now my friend Steph, who told me about these, she does photographs for this that are a lot better 
than Urvashi's amateur efforts, but yours is probably gonna look like this. Okay, so basically if it can, what I did was I put the liquid from the green beans at the bottom there and I put it in there. Okay, well, they pop out really easily and what's gonna happen is this container is gonna become available for me really, really quickly. So, would I buy these? You know, I really think I would because when I'm cooking for cookbooks, we make five and, and 10 and 12 recipes in a day and I end up feeding four different families with it because I don't have enough little containers, believe it or not. But with something like this, especially with all the ones I have here, I could do it really easily. In my experience, something like this heats in about three minutes in the microwave. Um, of course, you could do it, like I said, in a steamer or you could just put these in little containers in the Instant Pot and heat them that way. Um, so I think it's like $19 for one of these, etc. So I wrote to the lady who did, who makes these and she explained to me why they were so much more expensive than the other things. Uh, one is that they work with a factory that actually pays fair wages. So for those of us who care about that sort of thing, I think it's a good thing. But the other thing is the sheer size of this. So one of the things I really love about it is how huge it is compared to the other ones. Most of the other ones I've seen on the market, they'll make like big ice cube size um, cubes, but they don't make a one cup cube. So the name of this one is Super Cubes, S-O-U-P-E-R Cubes. Um, there are many that masquerade as these, but they're a lot smaller and the quality isn't quite there. So I'm Irvishini, my blog is 2 I hope this was helpful and this is how you should be storing your leftovers.